Good morning, everybody. Five Farley here, April 23rd. It is a travel day, Monday in baseball. So we got a uh, moderate slate of games here to get to. Um, I have two picks I'm going to get to by the end of this video. Uh, but I first want to jump through all of the big dogs and just share with you which ones I'm passing on and the one I'm going to take. Uh, before I get to that, subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, I appreciate all those that have, and thank you for watching. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Baseball is by far my best game, and there is a ton of value as the season moves on in baseball. Um, early, it's a little bit tougher. We haven't even had five starts for some of these pitchers, and I like to play off the last five starts to get value in my pick that day. We don't even have five starts for some of these pitchers, so I'm uh, doing the best I can with with uh, the limited season that we've had so far. But, it, man, it's been fun out of the gates. Uh, real quick, yesterday went 1-2, uh, and two, had three dogs as plays. Tigers had the lead, lost the lead, had the lead, lost the lead, ended up not covering in an outright loss as a plus-130 dog. Um, the Rangers won as a plus-110 dog. And then the Padres did not cover at a plus-130 um, so I'll probably put my uh, season record. I have my record. I'm tracking it, but there's also not a lot of data there. Uh, but it's starting to accumulate. I'll put my uh, record down in the uh, description. So if you want to check that out, you can. Um, all right. So on to today. We have uh, three big dogs. Let me run through them real quick. One that I just have no confidence in taking, but we have Miami at the Dodgers, opening at a 213 favorite for the Dodgers, up to a 240 uh, favorite at this point. Um, Garcia's had four really solid outings. Um, he needs to get his walks down, especially here in Dodger Stadium, um, if he wants to be competitive in this game. But the other day I took the Marlins, and I just can't trust their offense at all. So I, I don't have an interest in... Uh, trying to back that offense in Dodger Stadium. And I will say this, the Dodgers, they're a sleeping bear. They're not going to be held to, how, what do they have in runs, 90, 94? They've been, they have 94 runs this year in 20 games. Um, they're not going to be held that low for the rest of the season. Um, those bats are going to come alive. They're 6-6 six and six at home. That's going to start to separate with a lot more wins at home. Um, so... The Marlins scored 69 runs on the entire season so far. Um, I, I just don't trust their offense. At the same time, I like Garcia, and I like getting, uh, you know, a, a, a buck or 220 on my dollar uh, for this Marlins team with Garcia on the mound. But um, it's definitely a pass for me, definitely a pass. Bueller, there's no data on him. He's getting his first start today. So um, I'm passing on that one. The other game that's a big dog um, – that I am passing on is, is a little bit more compelling. And that's Minnesota at New York. Um, really hard to go against New York at home. Uh, they play very well at home. They score a lot of runs at home. We have the veteran Odorizzi coming into town. Um, Tanaka has given up six runs his last two outings. Um, there's reason to fade him. Line open at 214. It's down to 200. So you can get decent value at plus 180 for Odorizzi. I wouldn't blame you for taking Odorizzi. Um, I will say the long ball has been a problem for Odorizzi in New York. Um, over the last three years, he has a 5.68 ERA. However, opponents are only hitting 233 against him. He's given up five home runs in 19 innings. So in three starts, five home runs um, and only 19 innings. He's one and two in Yankee Stadium. Um, so be a little hesitant on, on taking Odorizzi. However, there is some value there, especially if you're feeling like um, uh, Minnesota is going to put up some runs against Tanaka. Um, not so sure that he is. Uh, Tanaka pitches pitches well in uh, uh, in New York, so um, I, I I just don't like that one as much as uh, Cleveland at Baltimore. So Baltimore has had a really tough schedule here out of the gates. So don't let their what six and sixteen record fool you. They opened the season against Minnesota. Then they went to Houston, to the Yankees, home against the Blue Jays, at the Red Sox, at the Tigers, and now they're finally back home for the Indians. Uh, 13 of their 22 games have been on the road, and it's been in the likes of the NL, uh, American League East, which is uh, you know just a tough division. So 
Yeah, they're six and sixteen. They've put up seventy-two runs though. Cleveland, they've only put up sixty-eight runs. However, it's been a few less games. I mean, they have about the same runs per game uh, coming into this game. And uh, now we have a lot of money is coming in on on uh, Kevin Gossman for for uh, Baltimore. So something to note: money came in on him last game against Minnesota. Um, even though he did lose, there's been a lot of uh, backing for Gossman. And here today we have, let me just check this real quick. I'll get a live bet percentage um, on Gossman coming into this. I will also say while this is loading up, uh, 338 ERA at home, 13 and 8 at home. Whereas on the road, Gossman has a 489, a whole run and a half higher ERA um, and 11 and 23 on the road. A much, much better pitcher at home. Uh, much wiser to back him at home versus on the road like he was in the last game. So we have uh, live betting percentage, 88% of the tickets on Cleveland, where 61% of the money is on Baltimore. So again, you're getting big money coming in on Baltimore. Uh, this line is now at a plus 160, might be at a plus 155, depending on your book. Uh, if you can get it anything higher than 160, take it. Um, I'll be taking uh, uh, the plus 160 for uh, Baltimore, backing Gossman on the bump uh, at home. All right, uh, second game I got is uh, Atlanta Braves traveling to Cincinnati. Um, this is not only a backing of the Braves and their offense, which has put in a National League leading 111 runs. It's also a fade of the Cincinnati Reds. Now, I don't think the Reds are as bad as 1-7 and 3-18 and and records. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll bounce back a little bit, um, but they are pretty bad. Uh, they are, the run differential is 56 runs to the negative. Um, that's a total of 90 runs difference in the first 22 games to, between the Braves and the Reds. 90 runs difference. That's incredible. Um, so even though it's on the road, uh, first day traveling for the Braves, um, I will take the Braves. Uh, we're at a minus 130 um, right now, so I would take it now. 94% of the tickets on the Braves, 94% of the money on the Braves. Uh, so there's not like a sharp side to this, um, but I will take the Braves here. They're knocking the ball around, scoring a lot of runs, and Cincinnati has had a really, really hard time scoring. So there you go. There's my two picks for the day. If you have any that you like, throw them down in the comments for me. Um, I'll chime in if there's a side I have. If you have any comments about my picks, feel free to throw those down there as well. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, good luck, everybody, and I'll see you again soon.